in this lesson we'll see about multi speed commands okay multi speed commands what is that you know in in the drive you can give multiple speed multiple preset speed to the drive to the motor now what do i mean by that suppose the motor is running at let's say this is the forward command and motor is running at 9 hertz as of now you can see in the camera okay this is the 9 hertz i want if i turn on any switch any any button or any switch or any command from the pc I want this frequency to be 18 or 20 or 25 set frequency I don't want to change from here I just want a fixed frequency inside the VFD okay which should be inside the VFD that should be active by any switch or toggle switch so how we can do that that is the multi step speed we need to give different speeds pre-configured speeds for that we have different parameters so let me show you the frequency parameter first where we can enter this multi speed frequency okay have a look at their parameter 17 which says first step speed frequency parameter 18 second step and third step and up to seven steps but we are going to use just first and second step just for the example okay so in 17 let's enter some frequency in the parameter so going to 17 let's just have here mm, okay 10 hertz okay and in 18 which is the second step I'm having 15 hertz this is fine so I have two step frequencies 10 hertz and 15 hertz now question is how to activate them how to get it you know you know how to active that in the VFD for that case we will assign again we'll assign functions to this terminal bits m3 and m4 uh, we should assign M3 as first step, M4 as second step. Okay. In that case, I'll roll back to parameter 38. Yeah, M3 parameter 40. That should be given 06, which says multi-step speed command one. So when when I when I give ground to M3. So whenever you give ground to this M3 by turning on this Y3, your first step will be active. When you turn on M4, second step will be active. So the step was first we enter the frequency, then we assign function to M3 and M4, then we turn on M3 and M4 to check that. So we should have output Y3 and Y4, okay, which is already there. So instead of jog, now this will work as step one. The second one should be step two. This is step of speed, okay. Now in this steps we have to first assign the function so in parameter 39 we should enter 06 so parameter 39 is here 06 oops parameter number 30 39 or oh, 06 is by default hold on it's by default in 40 so we need to change the 40 first because we cannot assign the same parameter in two modes so in 39 so sorry parameter number 40 that should be 6 and 41 which is m4 it's 7 so it's by default 7 so we have assigned the function to m3 and m4 now let's check this one so if I turn on m32 let's go to online have a look it's 10 Hertz here okay when I turn it off it will roll back to 9 which will roll back to potentiometer so when I turn on y4 which is our m4 it's 15 okay but it will not start the motor you see the motor is not running although the frequency has been changed motor is not running because the run command is not there the run command will come from here it's 6 Hertz now if I change the frequency it will go to 10 Hertz, 10 hertz. Okay. if I run this one 15 Hertz this is just a frequency command motor commands run command will come from here only okay this will only start the motor Y0. This is just will change the frequency. Even if you run the motor in reverse, frequency can be changed. 10, 15. That was how you can change the frequency of a motor by multi-step speeds. And you can you can activate this frequency by any sensor or you know by any switches. So just for the just for one example, I have made something here. Suppose you have this a conveyor. This is a conveyor, and here, these are the boxes. And this is your testing area. You want when your box travel between this area, the speed of the conveyor should decrease. This conveyor speed should decrease when the box pass that area. When box pass that area, 
then speed should increase. So these are the two sensors. This sensor will set one of the speed. This will set. This will reset that speed. Okay. So whenever boxes, whenever a box pass through this testing area, speed of the box will be decreased, and then later on it will be increased. Okay. Then there is no boxes. So that's how this application can be used here by turning setting M3 and M4 and changing the speed. You can have just one multi-speed as well. It's totally up to you. Okay. That was all about multi-speed commands. Then we'll see what is the PLC operation. Alright, if you have any query, just post a comment. I'll get back to you. Thank you.